Hi guys, welcome to this video which is going to be focusing on what electrolysis is. Electrolysis then. The definition is the breaking down of an electrolyte using electricity. So what we'll do now is we'll have a look at that definition and we'll break it down into smaller chunks so you can see exactly what electrolysis is. So you should remember that an electrolyte is any liquid that contains ions. So a good example of that is sodium chloride. Now, as long as it's a liquid that could be dissolved, aqueous, or it could be a liquid melted. And when we say broken down with electricity, we mean electrical energy is used to split that compound back up into its elements. So in the case of sodium chloride, you would get sodium and chlorine. It uses direct current as opposed to alternating current. So if we have a look at a setup then, here I have an electrolysis diagram which is using direct current and has sodium chloride. It is a liquid, so when we put it into that liquid, when we melt it, it turns back into its ions. So I have my cation, sodium, and I have my anion, chlorine. Now what happens is when electrolysis occurs is that those ions move to the opposite charged electrode. So sodium, which is the cation, will move to the negative cathode. The way to remember it, cation is positive, so the positive charge will move to the negative cathode, and I'll go through a naming technique for that in a second. The anion, chlorine, will move to the anode, so the negative ion will move to the positive electrode. So just a bit of a recap then, cations are positive, positive, so all your metals are positive and will move to the negative electrode, and anions are negative ions, a negative ion, so they will move to the positive electrode. Now how can you remember which electrode is which? The easy way to remember it is cations will always go to the cathode, anions will always go to the anode. The other way of remembering the charge is remember the word PANIC. And it's an acronym for positive anode, negative is cathode. So your anode is positive, your cathode is negative. The other way of remembering it is their opposite charges. So if your cation is positive, your cathode is going to be the opposite charge, it's going to be negative. Your anion is a negative ion, therefore it's going to go to the anode, which is going to be positive because it's the opposite charge. So in summary then, we use direct current, which is your electrical energy, to split up your electrolyte, which for example is liquid sodium chloride. When that happens, the positive cations will go to the negative cathode, the negative anions will move to the positive anode. They will turn back into their original elements. So sodium will turn back into the metal and chlorine will turn back into chlorine gas. Let's have a look at a couple of questions then. So there are five questions I'd like you to have a go at here. The first one being, what is the definition for electrolysis? It's worth two marks, so you need two things. Question two, what will be produced when molten potassium bromide, KBr, is electrolyzed? So think, what is potassium bromide made out of? what will be produced. You don't need to name the electrodes, you don't need to name anything for that, you just need to say what the two elements are that will be produced. Question three, what type of current is used during electrolysis? So that's either direct or alternating current. Question four, what is the name of the positive and negative electrodes? And then number five, which electrode will lithium, your positive cation, and fluoride, your negative anion, move to during electrolysis? So Li+, plus, where will it go to? and F minus, where will that go to? Pause the video, have a go at the five questions, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that then. Let's have a look at the answers. So question one, what is the definition for electrolysis? Nice and simply, the breaking down of an electrolyte using electricity. So your first mark, breaking down of an electrolyte, the second mark, electricity. I would have accepted electrical energy or direct current there. Question two, what will be produced when molten potassium bromide is electrolyzed? So nice and simply, it's only got two things in there, so it can only be potassium and bromine. If you chose to put the symbols down, remember they turn back into their elements. Bromine go, goes around in pairs, so it would be Br2. If it hasn't asked you for that, just go with the names potassium and bromine for one mark each. Question three, what is the current used in electrolysis? Direct current. Four, what is the name of the positive and negative electrodes? So for this one, you needed to say which is which. So you needed to turn around and say the cathode is your negative electrode and the anode is your positive electrode. So be specific there. Question five, which electrodes will the lithium plus and fluoride F minus 
ions move to during electrolysis. Lithium is positive, positive, positive. It's a cation, so it will go to the cathode. So the lithium ions will move to the negative cathode. You didn't need all the detail there, just literally lithium cathode. Therefore, the fluoride ions at negative ion, anion will move to the anode, which is your positive electrode. That's the end of the questions then. I do have a review question for you, which is to draw a circuit that could be used to electrolyze molten magnesium chloride, MgCl2, and then use that to explain electrolysis. So include what electrolysis is, the names of the electrodes, and what happens when you turn that power pack on? What happens to the magnesium ions? Where are they gonna go? What happens to the chlorine ions? Where are they gonna go? That brings this video to an end. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe, visit the website, and have a look at the latest video. Thanks for watching.